Hi and welcome to this edition of Tech Clarity TV. My name is Jim Brown, President of Tech Clarity, where we make the business value of technology clear. Today I want to talk to you about assessing your company's product sustainability processes and talk about how manufacturers can move themselves up the sustainability maturity curve in order to have more efficient, more effective uh, sustainability processes that result in more sustainable products, more compliant products, uh, but also to have value beyond that. A lot of what I'm talking about today comes from a report on PLM's role in enabling uh, design for sustainability. Um, it's an interesting report. I think you'd find it useful to take a look at. Today we're going to focus though on this, this uh, maturity sustainability aspect. I like to start with the sustainability imperative and, and help companies understand why product compliance and sustainability is so important. Uh, but with REACH and Rojas and Conflict Minerals, um, I, I think probably the most effective way to say it right now is that over the next decade, we're expected to see exponential growth in the regulation that companies face for their products. And status quo and brute force just really isn't going to work for companies anymore. So we need a new approach and that's where sustainability maturity really helps. So I came up with a sustainability maturity uh, model or matrix that has six levels to it. You know, it could be, it could be a different number of levels. Um, it's somewhat arbitrary, but uh, based on companies that I've talked to, I've seen them fall into a number of different categories. And the important thing is to assess where you are in the maturity curve and then figure out where it is that you want to be, how you can move up the curve, and then put plans in place to get there. And, and you can, in fact, skip steps in the curve. Uh, you don't have to necessarily move up one step at a time. Um, it really starts all the way back at being unaware and, and uneducated about what the needs are, or maybe in fact sticking your head in the sand and not really wanting to care and ignoring the problem, um, to starting to move up, to, to be engaged, to understand the problem and starting to act. Um, then companies move through a, a phase where they're compliant. Um, they go beyond compliance to be proactive and start looking beyond current requirements to future requirements. Um, and then they start to go beyond compliance. And this is really where you start uh, seeing even greater returns on investment in uh, a sustainability framework and processes and, and gathering data. And then going beyond sustainability even to reducing related supply chain risks. And this is really where you take the analytics to a level, a level further. So, First of all, there are proven design for environment approaches. This is Tech Clarity's framework. Uh, it's got six steps, and really it starts with identifying the requirements, moving through and capturing your product information, your bills and materials, um, your configurations and variants, uh, moving through collecting your supply chain data, which can be a big challenge, um, analyzing, then mitigating whatever risks come out of that, and documenting it, which in, in many cases is, uh, is a big part of compliance and also a big challenge. So when you adopt that, the thing to do to support that is to really take a platform approach. And a platform approach allows you to do a few things. First of all, it allows you to automate for efficiency. Um, you can automate uh, compliance checking and sustainability checking at design time, so you really sort of take the burden away from your innovators and your designers um, and, and let them design with confidence and freedom at the same time knowing that they're going to have checks in place to make sure that the products are going to be able to be brought to market. Because if not, one of the biggest challenges in, uh, in compliance and sustainability um, isn't just a fine, it's lack of access to the market. So being able to automate that um, is extremely, uh, extremely helpful. Um, also automating the supply chain data gathering because um, getting documentation and, uh, and declarations back from companies and knowing who you've got them from and who you don't can be really arduous and um, just speeding that up can add a tremendous amount of efficiency and, and allow you to gather more data that you can use downstream. Um, and using downstream, this is really where we start to get uh, some leverage is when you gather more information than you need for a particular compliance or sustainability needs, so you can start to do additional analysis on that information. Then combining that information, if you integrate with product lifecycle management or PLM, you can get your bills of material, 
and all of your variant configurations and, and check against all of those in an accurate, up-to-date way so you know that your products are always compliant. And then lastly, actually making sure that you continue to check against those requirements on an ongoing basis when there are engineering changes and when there are changes to the requirements, uh, which, as I said before, uh, exponential growth in requirements um, and regulation coming up over the next decade. And then finally, I, I think the key thing is what I found in my research is that the companies that do move up this maturity curve not only end up with better compliance and sustainability, they end up with lower costs. It allows them to do things much more efficiently, takes them out of this brute force reactive, uh, reactive mode, and so they end up really with better results at lower cost, and that in and of itself is a strategic advantage. So if I can end with a few key takeaways, first of all, the sustainability imperative, imperative is here. It, it's real, it's growing, and I'm sure I probably don't need to tell you that if you're watching this video. Companies can move themselves up the maturity curve. Um, they're actually good processes available, there are good tools available, and they allow you to take a really a platform approach to have a streamlined process that can allow you to gather data efficiency, efficiently, integrate in with uh, product lifecycle management so you can gather uh, your product information, and then automate marrying those things up to analyze where you may have issues and carry them through the engineering process to, uh, to actually alleviate those. And as I said before, to report against them. So I think there's a lot of value in moving up to maturity curve. There's great value in using a platform approach and proven design for enterprise or design for environment processes there. Um, I would love to continue the conversation with you either on my blog, on my website, or uh, you know, if you'd like to respond uh, directly to this Tech Clarity TV episode, uh, Facebook, Twitter, wherever it is, I'd like to continue the conversation. Thanks. Have a great day.